Um, founded in San Diego, will soon be used to train police officers across the state. It's called Game Changer, and it just got a grant from the state agency that oversees police training. 10 News reporter Matt Boone is joining us now live at SDPD headquarters with how the program works and what they hope to achieve. Matt. Kim, the gist of it is to bring members of the public and law enforcement together over a sports game. But at the same time, they're also collecting important data and ideas that the founder hopes can bring to lawmakers in hopes of enacting change. Across the state, you know, we all recognize that inside and outside of law enforcement agencies that there, there are issues. Sean Shepard founded Game Changer back in 2016 after witnessing large protests break out across the country against police brutality. The only way you can solve problems is to first recognize that they exist. His idea was simple. Get members of the community and law enforcement into the same room to talk about the issues they face and the solutions. So the solutions that are devised are reflective of law enforcement thinking and non-law enforcement thinking. Then afterwards, the group goes to a sports game. To get some human bonding time, some quality time spent together because that rarely takes place between law enforcement and the general public. The program has been endorsed by the San Diego Police Department's Chief David Nislight, but really only as a community engagement tool. But this week, the California Commission on Peace Officer Standards and Training announced Game Changer would be awarded a $200,000 grant to expand statewide as an official training program. I never imagined that we would be formally training law enforcement. That was not part of my original thought. In addition to the individual impact the sessions have on officers and the public, he hopes the data they gather and the ideas they discuss will have lasting effects. It's going to play a role in shaping the behavior and hopefully policy inside and outside of different law enforcement agencies. Now, in order to make this work, of course, they need members of the public to come and join them. You can sign up on their website. They've got two events coming up this month, one here at Petco Park, one in L.A. We'll post a link to their website on ours, 10news.com. Reporting live downtown tonight, Matt Boone, 10 News. Matt, thank you.